वेलकम टू अमरावती द न्यू कैपिटल ऑफ आंध्र प्रदेश दिस इज द गवर्नमेंट स्ट्रीम ऑफ अमरावती अ मॉडर्न कैपिटल टू बी बिल्ट फ्रॉम स्क्रैच ऑफ नेविगेबल कैनाल्स मेट्रो रेल बीआरटीएस हाई स्पीड रेल मोस्ट ऑफ ऑल इट्स सीन एज हैविंग पायनियर्ड अ न्यू मॉडल फॉर गेटिंग लैंड without the drama and delay of the land acquisition act part of this journey in creating amravati a world class city but not all is well in the making of paradise this is the amravati we see today a fertile river delta the food bowl of the region a single lane road through 29 villages It has been raining every day. The river Krishna is swollen. The alluvial soil drenched. A farmer's dream. Venkat Reddy's six acres are bursting with lemons, bananas, and ivy gourd. And this is only one round of harvest. He'll grow three more of paddy, turmeric, drumstick, chilies, and Bengal gram, making at least one and a half lakh rupees a month on average. Venkat Reddy finds it ridiculous to give up this multi-crop land for a city he can't imagine. but saying no to the government has not been easy andar bedrichi bai petti ayana ee yajana ibbandulanu yesi maa polan laakoni police police untho laakoni elaanti ibbandulu ayithe pettochu government alaanti ibbandulu petti mammu me padarani baadalu padutunna venkat reddy is one of a few hundred farmers from five villages refusing to give their land up for amravati of the about 33000 acres the government wants for the new city these farmers own only about 2000 but it's at the very heart of the city plan a small but strong rebellion across amravati it's quite easy to establish which of the lands have been given for the land pooling system and which have not for instance this land has been uncultivated for the last 2 years because this farmer decided to give his land for the pooling in 2015 and that means he cannot cultivate on it since then on the other hand This farm still has vegetables growing on it because the farmer decided not to give his land for the pooling system. This is a visible marker also of another thing that is the trust that people place on the government. While this farmer trusts the government, this farmer does not. Shiv Prasad Reddy liked the idea of being part of a new city until he felt shortchanged by the pooling process. In his 6 acres, he usually grows banana ब्लाक ग्राम मेज वंकायल विथ ग्रउंड वाटर एट ट्वेंटी फीट हि सैज इट्स फर्टाइल लैंड एंड मस्ट गेट हयर कॉम्पनसेशन पर द गवर्मेंट हेड अदर आइडिया Uh, 1903 uh, on their uh, records this this land as uh, showing as dry land they said now we are in 2017 frustrated he joined the farmers opposed to the pooling he's drawn up a list of 55 reasons why the pooling is wrong take over of a region that's 55% agricultural prone to floods police intimidation lack of transparency we were uh, requesting them so many times to record our voices our opinions our objections but they they uh, bluntly rejected he's now going to take his grievance where the state can't ignore it claiming that 90% of the required land is ready the capital is now focused on shoring up the enormous investment of 58000 crore rupees the government wants a loan of 300 million dollars from the world bank On August 29th and 30th here in Tulluru the World Bank team watches as the villagers and Amravati officials speak completely different languages Women troops of Pakistan they are not physically handicapped to be the less privileged It's a day of heated battles everywhere we go Ande ee se tisukovalante a report kaavaram chestunnaru A land acquisition meeting sees a boycott When Shiv Prasad Reddy brings his complaint to the World Bank meeting at Venkatapalayam farmers in favor of land pooling outnumber him a fight breaks out ee 98% eppudaithe icharo vaalla rate kodu increase ayindi 10000 ekarallo bhoomi increase ayindi 99% ichina 28000 kutumbalallo lakh mandi idiki haani cheyagodu sudhakar rao gave 40 acres to pooling It's large scale farmers like him who've helped Amravati pool 90% of the land it needs. 
Rao's children are doctors abroad. He will be the last farmer of his family. By selling his land, he says, he's simply taking care of his next generation. Farmers who are able to trust the 35-year Amravati dream seem to have economic security. And in Andhra Pradesh, economic security also comes from caste and party affiliation. Most affluent farmers who pool their land are Naidus, just like the chief minister. They are traditional voters of the ruling Telugu Desam party. The anti-pooling farmers are largely reddies and kapus, supporting the YSR Congress, BJP or other parties. Land pooling doesn't fall under the Land Acquisition Act, so it doesn't offer money to the farmer. In exchange for land today, it offers land in the future. Farmers would give the land voluntarily to the government. Government in turn would develop the infrastructure. And obviously when the capital is being located, the prices of the lands will shoot up. And after the infrastructure is developed, we will give back to the farmers a developed piece of land, which is about 25 percent. For example, for each one acre of land given, we are giving back uh, 1000 square yards of residential and 250 square yards of commercial plot to them. For this model to work, the city must meet its timeline. But the chief minister has changed five architects, the latest is Bahubali director Rajamauli. Only the secretariat and two half-built universities are visible. And the World Bank loan may also not come in. After their visit, the bank team reported that the government intimidated many farmers. Petitions alleging floodplain encroachment haunted the city for two years. In November, the court rejected them, but there's a lot of delay to make up for. But here's a central question for a city engineered overnight from villages. Will it really have space for its old residents? A lot of paths and a lot of green spaces are going to come. So the farmers are the best in uh, developing those green spaces. But uh, they are traditional farmers. Now we are converting them into a landscape uh, uh, developers. Stuck in between, even pro-pooling farmers are uneasy. Will Amravati come up at all? And if it does, what will they do in the paradise of global companies, IT jobs, glass and steel?